we are living in some year. My brother is crazy. We are suffering. Uh, what government are we running? That we will stand and there is no foil. And we are producing foil. We have everywhere in foil. Go to Meduguri, there is foil. Go to everywhere, there is foil. Can't we not go in Danish and have a refinery? Foil scarcity has over the years become a recurring decimal in Nigeria. A problem that has defied every solution by successive administrations in a country which is a major crude oil producer, but ironically a major importer of refined petroleum products. In the last few weeks, people in most of the northern states are still battling to get full at the official price of 165 naira per litre, owing to lingering scarcity of the product. While it is evident that patrol queues had reduced in Lagos and other southern states, drivers in Abuja spend the night in filling stations where the queue is over one kilometer long and those who don't have the luxury of time buy patrol from black marketers for as high as 1,000 naira per liter. As a black market first seller like me, I will buy it at the rate of 165 naira per liter and I will end up selling like a liter per 1,000 naira. That, that makes 10 liter, which is this one, 10,000 naira. I sold this yesterday, 7,000 naira, and I bought it at 165 naira. This has forced the cost of transportation and almost everything to go up amid scorching economic hardship and inflation. Since morning I've been on queue, since 4.30. My business, my work activity, everything has paralyzed for the sake of me getting forward. But I never see lose hope. It's only take me time, but I'll get the forward. The forward scarcity is beyond the human explanation because we never expected that it could last long up to this, uh, up to this, uh, st uh, up to this uh, stage. It has affected my business that uh, my income has gone down drastically. Uh, 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 I, I don't want to be very selfish because saying how it is affecting me, I, I will be sounding very selfish. I think how it is affecting every Nigerian on the street, on the street. Just take a look around how people are suffering. This money alone, I have met with more than five people begging me for money just to, to transport themselves back to wherever they are going to, going to. Because transportation has increased. The taxi drivers are not finding it funny. Everything in the market has increased. Because of this, yesterday, a neighbor of mine bought a, a liter of kerosene for 600 naira in this country. Diesel is, is, is going for 750 to 800 naira a liter. How do we survive? How are we going to survive? Yesterday on the news, I heard that uh, the, uh, someone from the uh, Broadcasting Corporation of Nigeria was saying that if nothing is done on this, that they're going to be, sh they're, they're going to be shutting down. That the media are, going to, are not going to continue like this. So where are we going? President Mohamed Buhari last Wednesday apologized to Nigerians for the inconvenience caused by the prolonged shortage of petroleum products and also said saboteurs were behind the problem.